Brakthayawa, Brakthayawa Sai, Brakthayawa, Brakthayawa Sai, Brakthayawa, Brakthayawa Sai. The double honors the Apostles of Great Millstone. All the ship that be pushing the truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. All praise down to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So I just wanted to speak on this uh, headline here, uh, published um, about an hour and a bit ago. And um, I wanted to go into the scriptures on it. So um, I don't know the ins and outs of the um, background of this article. But it's a good premise to do a video on, uh, given we're in the times of um, a great judgment coming upon the earth. And as a result of great judgment coming upon the earth, a great blessing for the Israelites uh, to uh, being manifested uh, on the earth. Okay, so without much further ado, I'm going to read the title. I'm going to read the, um, the little bit of an uh, excerpt here that they have. And then I'll go into the scriptures. So it says, U.S. is uh, ready to use U uh, nukes in case of controversial attack. So um, I can only assume, okay, this is uh, coming from the Trump administration and they are um, answering or uh, are keying in on um, their retaliation, um, what you call as your retali retaliation policy. Okay, so when you have a, um, a, a quote unquote controversial attack, um, that's, you know, that's, that's uh, alluding to the, the wars on many fronts that they have out there, okay, it's alluding to uh, so-called terrorism and ISIS and all of these these different things. Like I said, I don't know the ins and outs of this, uh, you know, the source of this article, but you can see the direction in which we're moving in, okay? This is no more a thing of we're going to send the boots on the ground out there. This is a, a, a all-out uh, nuclear war that's being uh, presented now. And you have to remember, you've had tactical nukes probably being deployed out there within the world. But you haven't had an all-out nuclear attack or nuclear response or declared nuclear response. And this is what you're seeing from the Trump administration. So this is this is good news. Okay, this is good news. Because, like I said, I was going to go into the scriptures. Okay, because when you go into the scriptures, you find out that there is, a, um, there, the, basically, the judgment that was going to be on the earth, okay, was going to be the judgment that can only be, uh, um, well, not only... Okay, if you use your imagination and, and, and you know, add, add it to the power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. But ultimately, uh, 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 you know, the, the world we're living in right now, okay, um, the, the scriptures could be, you know, fully, uh, uh, um, you know, the, the things that are in the scriptures could be fully uh, pointed at. Because, you know, the instruments of the earth reading to and fro, like it's going to say here within the book of Isaiah, the 24th chapter, on the 20th verse, they are here. Okay, it's not a thing of, um, you know, imagination and, or maybe there's a volcano, like some guys will have you believe, okay, like the whole earth is going to be destroyed, or the, the whole known uh, uh, um, Western civilization is going to be destroyed by way of, um, because uh, it's mostly going to be, the, you know, Esau's empire, which is what you know as Western civilization, okay, now you're going to have things play out outside of that, but for the most part, that's where the judgment is going to be playing out, the scripture says this, so within the book of Revelation, the 18th chapter, but like I said, really, all the world is going to, going to feel that, but you could do. You are gonna have uh, um, some, some some countries standing in a far off as pursuing to the Book of Revelations, the 18th chapter, saying, "Look, <laughs> look at Babylon's destruction." Okay, uh, we're gonna lose money out of this. Okay, so it says, um, you know, but like I said, the instruments of this destruction. This is what's being described or uh, being spoken about within the article I just read for you. So it says, Isaiah 24 and 20 says, "The earth shall read to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage." And the, uh, and the transgression of it shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. So this is this talking about the um the actual earth. In fact, if I go into this, is it going to go into the description of the world? Because I believe this is talking about an age. Okay, um, is it going to go into it? I know within the New Testament it goes into it, where you have the word eon, or, which goes into the word age. But I don't know if you know the word here is the same. Okay. But basically when, you go, uh, uh, basically, when you go into this, this is talking about uh, 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 um, a basically a time period. Okay, this is not talking about the whole earth. The scripture says that the, 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 the foundations of the earth stand for, forever. Okay, so this is not talking about, uh, uh, um, this is not talking about, you know, the, 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 the whole earth right now and this is going to be uninhabitable. What's going to happen is you're going to have, you're going to have a cleansing, okay, a cleansing by way of fire which is the nuclear fire that Donald Trump's speaking about. But, you know, these things don't play out one way. They play out both ways. Okay, and what you're going to find out is a lot of these different countries really are enmity with the, with the American uh, way of doing things. 
And when it, when it comes to say, you know, when it comes time to, to, to make a stance, a lot of these different countries are going to stand with the enemies of America as opposed to the, the friends of America. And, and really Esau, okay, going into the book of Obadiah, where if the scripture says, them that are at peace with thee have laid a wound for thee. Okay, so let's go into the scripture right here. This is the book of Zechariah, the 12th, 14th chapter, and the 12th verse. It says, it shall come, and, it sh and this shall be the plague where if all the people uh, will smite, wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that are fought against Jerusalem, okay, their flesh shall consume away whilst they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes and in their tongues and, uh, uh, and in their mouths. Okay, and that's, you know, that's pretty much going into, you know, that's pretty much self-explanatory. Okay, but that's, that's the ICBM nuclear missiles that, you know, Donald Trump is speaking about. And this is going to be the judgment that's going to come about on Earth. You know, like, they'll have you, they'll have you believe that this is just, you know, this is what they're going to do and they're just going to win like that. But that's not what the scripture says. The scripture says that the most I was going to sweep uh, uh, um, Babylon with a besom of destruction. Okay, so let's just finish up here within the book of Job, the 28th chapter. Um... Okay, in the 24th verse, so Job 20 and 24 says, He shall flee from the iron weapon, okay, and the bow of steel to strike him through. It is drawn, it cometh out of the body, yea, the glittering sword cometh out, the gold terrors upon him. All darkness are hid in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him, okay, uh, with him that is left in his tabernacle, which is his house, okay, his kingdom, okay. The heavens shall reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall ri uh, rise up against him. So, you know, the ultimate, you know, destruction is going to come is coming man when you're hearing nuclear talk and nuclear responses we're, we're heading towards you know what we just read here within the scriptures so hopefully that was of edification uh with that i'm gonna say all praise unto you about shimmy outside double honesty apostles a great millstone honestly brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity shalom